Hello everyone, I'm Argama Witch, and today I'm doing a Let's Play game. I'm doing a game, uh, hold on, it's called, um, Before Your Eyes. <laughs> I keep wanting to say within your eyes. Um, and this one's gonna track, like, my blinky blinks. Um, and, uh, because this game also sometimes needs recalibration, and, uh, it doesn't know how not to show, like, your face <laughs> and the messy room behind you. I figured I would try this one uh, as the return of of particular games to my channel. I don't know. I hear this is a sad game, so um, if I get, you know, sad. You see, every time you blink, the game will notice. It's watching me. Also, if I... If I squint, it counts as a blink. Try blinking on the white symbol. When you see the metronome, uh, and blink. You jump forward. Keep blinking. Oh. Oh no, what is that? Help! I'm drowning! It's my nightmare! <laughs> no! I actually don't know anything about this game. Well, hello there, stranger. Bright and shiny one, aren't you? What happened to your head? I oh asked you for your name, but sadly you got no mouth to speak with, or hands to shake with, or nose to look down with. Hey. So we're going to have to find another way. See, what you'll <clears> find <throat> is, even though you're no longer in your body, your body's still inside of you. If that makes any sense. No, have so I died? If you understand what I'm saying... Um, blink over my hand here. Ooh, well, look at that. You're a blinking genius. I know how to blink! <laughs> <laughs> uh, I knew you were special. You see all them poor souls down there? Lost in the waves? Oh, I guess I did die. I, 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 I chose you. Why? See, I, I just sometimes get a sort of a, a hunch. Or, you know, that's a better word. Notion... Ah. A premonition when a soul's worth pulling up. Uh. Okay. Now you see that tower out there? Yeah. That big scary one. Yep. That's where I'm taking you to see the gatekeeper. Cool. To be judged. Oh. I'm gonna present your case. Tell her the whole story of your entire life from prow to stern. Now if she's impressed. I get paid the Bitcoin, and you get yourself a spot in her magnificent city. I like the, uh, she ain't. spinning key. Well, I eat seagull for dinner again, and, uh, you... Well... <laughs> we don't have to you have a pile of fish, dude! Seagull. Find on these sickly waters. Class A storyteller, believe you me. Oh, shut up. Liar. <laughs> liar, liar, liar. Liar, liar. <clears throat> At least, at least he's trying to still, uh... <laughs> so sure, maybe I'm not the most verbose storyteller out there, but I know how to spin a yarn if I'm given something to work with. Liar. And that's where Liar. you're in. Your life. <clears throat> you're going to show it to me. Okay. 
I want to see exactly what made you so absolutely great. Oh. So, mm. just think Good thing it's just a game and not me in real life. <laughs> All right. <clears throat> thing that you can remember. All right. I'm going to send you there. All right. But understand, no matter how much you like it, you're not going to be able to stay. All right? Yep. <clears throat> Every time you blink, you're going to jump forward in time. Could be a second, could be five years. That's just how this thing works. Oh, okay. Alrighty then. I knew it was uh, controlling the story through blinking. Now, the next time the that was the blink, extent I knew. I'm going to send you back. But don't be afraid. And don't try to fight it. I'm going to have a staring contest with you. Is, well, it's only a matter of time. I'm touched you enjoy my company, <laughs> but I'll have to ask you to have some respect for the process here. There is a dry eye in the house, two of them, and they belong to this guy right here. <laughs> no, really, man, I need you to blink. Don't worry, I feel it coming. But if I go a little longer, I'm going to try. If I were your eyes... I'd just be pissed at this point. Oh, they are. This Trust me. Be a bigger betrayal than that time you stared directly at the sun. Wait, how'd you know about that? Ooh, look. He's going for a world record. Ah! So much cooler than saving your soul from eternal damnation. Are you slowly turning away from me? Does this mean I win? Hold on, hold on, hold on. What man? Forget it. <laughs> Try to enjoy it. <laughs> My eyes, a bird. Hold on, hold on, hold on. I need to relubricate my eyes because they really did dry out there. Woo! Okay. <clears throat> Ah! We've got a long, beautiful day ahead of us. Mm hmm. Why are you smiling like that? You must really like it out here, huh? It is nice. Well, I get that. I... Oh. Mm -hmm. <gasps> Look at the rock! Oh shit! Who's that? That must be our mother. Go get you some seashells. What do you say? Yes, I want all of the seashells. Also, this game might make me emotional. I'm just gonna say. That one. Right over there. That's oh. called Nagave. Eleven years from now, that plant will die so it can give birth to this tall, amazing tree. I didn't. I didn't blink. Didn't it? Oh well, days have a tendency to do that, I guess. I didn't do that. Look at those little shoes. Where's the first page of my piece? I can't find it anywhere. Did I put it in there? No. Bird! Oh, that one I did blink. <laughs> Look at that! There's your little hand. Benny, one year old. I'm um, Benny! That's a great idea. You know, it'll really be something. Wait, I didn't. I didn't blink. Also, the game froze? Oh, no, it didn't. You. Yes, ma'am. Give it time. Oh. 
Sounds good, honey. I'm sending it to my mentor next week. Wait, were we playing or are we taking oh, a bath? That with... Sounds pretty perfect to me. Yeah, what do you like about it? <gasps> we're controlling the goddamn boat. I like the music. I also like the person playing it. Yeah. I'm worried that might have something to do with it. Aww. I need to pop my bubbles. No. No blanky. No blinky. Must pop bubbles. No blinky. Ah! God, my eyes are gonna be so dry after this. Face. What do you think he's thinking about? I don't know. Probably solving the problems of the universe. You know, I never had one of those. It seems like every child has had one of those. I am obsessed with this boat. I just told you. Right. No, I'm sorry. I I guess I just put a lot of expectation on <gasps> Beautiful. Thank you for considering. Look, if I'm a small child who really cannot funny. communicate yet. Would you really trust me with paints? Oh. That you aren't good enough yet, you'll just have to keep working at it. I did not blink. All right, so I um I recalibrated the blinking, but uh, <clears throat> the problem is, is that when I look down, it's counting it as a blink. Um, and if I have an eye twitch, uh, it counts as a blink. So mm, we'll see how this works. <laughs> <clears throat> See? That used to be my piano. My dad gave it to me. He loved music. Who's talking to me? Fled his home country just to have a chance to pursue it. Who's talking to me? God. He made me practice so much. Man, my mom did too. I, I hated it. I hated it up until like... Let's see, I started playing piano when I was like five and then... Um... I think I played it through elementary school and um, my mom was very adamant about me playing piano or an instrument in general. Once I got to middle school I got to play um, uh, um, flute. Oh shit, I didn't mean to blink. Hey, Benny. Ready to see something really special? I just don't want him to get attacked. Richard. What? That's the cutest thing I've ever seen. Yeah, what's wrong with that? We can't keep him. Can we? I'm ah, damn it, I didn't want to blink it. No. Oh. Now play the C major chord I taught you. Mama allergic to Remember? kitties. Doesn't that make you feel happy? Like you just want to jump up and down? Now what about C minor? You remember how to play that one? Very good! Just one note different. That one sounds sad, doesn't it? Yeah, yeah, sure. Amazing what a difference one little Look at this cute ass fucking cat. Oh my god. Take a Benadryl. But he's so cute. She was in grad school studying composition. I, I thought that was a bug. Like her. I just 
praying to God I can somehow keep up. What is this course guide? Oh. I think she liked that I was a professor. Gave me a certain gravitas in her eyes. Yo, where is how? Bro. Very quickly lost. <laughs> She dragged me to so many places. It was wonderful. Where would you want to go? If you could only go to one. Mm -mm. Greece. Well, just remember to put on sunscreen. <laughs> I think that's... I gave you some unfortunate genes, didn't I? I think that's either one. Mom gave me some good ones, so... I hope they balance each other out. Aww. Oh. Where's my cat? Where's my cat? They took my cat. How old am I supposed to be? Passing day. That, that's my piece. How did you figure out how to play that? Richard, are you hearing this? What? He's playing my piece. He must have figured it out by ear. I mean, I was a kid, but... That's super fucking impressive. We need to get him into serious piano lessons. Oh, yeah. Kitty! <laughs> Oh god, I have my interview in five minutes and I completely forgot to feed him. Pew pew pew! Pew pew pew! Kitty! I already did! You got it! For a moment I forgot what a great power Help wanted? You are. Focus on the interview, honey. I got this. Meow meow! Benny, one year old, five year old, three. I'm at least five, okay. Alright, let's blink. Excuse me, of course, sir. It's all organized into folders sitting ready on my kitchen table. They will literally be on your desk when you get in. Meow! What could possibly happen to the files between now and tomorrow? <gasps> Bad kitty! You pee peed! No cat would pee right there. They would they would do it elsewhere. When's he coming? I'm flying him out in February, remember? You know, I think he was pretty Kitty! surprised that I could actually afford to do that. Hey, why not? You're a working woman now. I guess that's true. Don't let it go to your head, but yeah. She got the job! Nice. Oh, shit, I must have looked down too far. This is called a metronome. <laughs> we use it to measure time so we don't get lost in the music. When, um... I want you to start using it before Grandpa comes to visit. You know, my father once told me, when I was about your age, the only way to fight against time is to create a work of genius, which might live on after you're gone. Well, that's, uh, intense. So I asked him, what about your children? Thinking, you know, I might be a work of genius just as I was. Um... So when my mom passed away, the one thing I wanted as like a uh, memento from her house was her metronome, um, because I remembered it from when I was a kid. I didn't particularly like it, um, but yeah, I saw it the other day, and I was just like, it made me really fucking emotional. He said, "Yes, I suppose if you made a work of genius, I I haven't seen him in over ten years. Can you believe that?" I wonder if- Oh, shit. Sorry. Someone! Get the phone. Mm hmm. You really need to stay in time with the metronome, okay? Eh. Uh. Or flashbacks. One e and a two e and a three e and a four e and a one e and a two e and a three e and a four e. You're off. I hate this piece. You're off, Ben. You can't hear that. 
I still I still have muscle memory on how to play that from when I was. Uh, God, I was in first grade. Oh my. My mom made me memorize the whole thing for uh, a concert. We can photograph you. I'm just really behind right now. Why don't you take photos in the backyard? It may not be interesting at first, but if you keep going back out there. Hey, it disappeared. Ernie, Ernie. buddy. Ernie! Ernie, we need you! God, oh, what if you got eaten by a coyote? Not my cat! What? Did you just say? No, I, I said I'm really worried. Here, can I get it? So you're saying it's a coincidence that it disappears for weeks and then comes back with a huge belly? But Ernie's a boy. And you're sure about that? I mean, there's an easy way to find out. He keeps coloring the grass blue, the ocean green, and then the sky red. And what's wrong with that? No, are you kidding? I love it. Huh. Oh. Dinosaurs! Maybe we should pick up the new book? Yes. You know, a Galia is a particular... Vision. Oh, yeah. Got those two. Uh, oh man, I wish I could like not blink as long. What am I hearing? God, I tried. That you could ever play something so complex. You had me playing goddamn for at least. Take it one day at a time. Trust me. <gasps> Pumpkin. You're really getting there, honey. Next week we'll start working on your other hand. Brackets on each side, two screws on each bracket, uh, two washers on each screw. So that means we need eight washers. We have none. Nah. Where the hell are the washers? The quiz said find the zero, and he just drew an arrow pointing to it. What's wrong with that? I mean, everything is wrong with that. Oh. Am I uh box full by the time I come in there? If you don't play with it anymore, we're getting rid of it. Congratulations, B! Oh, three uh three trophies. Is that a surfboard? How old am I a teenager now? Holy moly. There's a computer and uh well. I mean, I don't really know how old I am now. This isn't my house. It's not my house. Right. My house. You have five minutes to get down. <laughs> Okay, I must be the her age. Yes, Mr. Camera Boy, I'm talking to you. Uh-uh. Don't do it, it's a trap! Alright, I guess we're gonna go over there. Why are you always out here taking photos? Because it's easier than practicing piano. take a photo of something cool, you should take a photo of this. Was it cool? Chloe. Oh shoot. 
I think I gotta go, but um, try to take a photo of me running into my house. I'm pretty fast, so I don't think you'll be able to, but you can try. Nope. I couldn't. <laughs> Quiet, everyone. Betty's <clears throat> about to play for us. Oh, jeez. Wow, Elle. He's unbelievable. My God, I didn't realize our head of accounting was raising a musical prodigy. Didn't you used to be a composer yourself, Elle? No, I don't know if I'd say that. But you used to write your own music, right? Yeah, but I haven't done that in years. Not since he was four or five years old. And, and what do you do? I remember once, uh, world history. having a, um, a concert that I'd go to and play that song, and I missed a, an entire thing. Entire section of it. I wrote you something. Uh, what well, are we in the same class? What a coincidence! Please keep in mind that while we're at school, we don't know each other. We don't talk to each other ever. I want each of you to write it down. Don't even look at not me. doodle on the sidelines. Not, not stare off into you. space. Okay. Now I will go on. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Tell me, what did the quote say? Um, right, I definitely know this. You were taking notes, weren't you, Chloe? Oh, yes, of course. So those who do not remember the past repeat the past. That's right, right? Indeed it is. Though I'd prefer you to answer without the help of your boyfriend. <laughs> <laughs> I don't talking wrong, but I asked her to, so I guess I'll have to bear it. <laughs> tried to convince your father not to buy you that thing, but he insisted. I half suspect he bought it for himself. Cone? Con what? What the fuck is that saying? I will admit that. Conscious? Oh, I want the job of whoever gets Conscious? the I don't know what that's saying. Oh. Con- Conchsters? It's Pokemon with clamshells. And Lopstar looks so- Ooh. I'm 11. Ooh. I've definitely seen you next door, but I didn't realize you guys have become friends. Oh, sure. We sit together in history class. I don't know what I'd do without old Benny. Very sweet. Thank you for playing this game with him. Your dad just thanked me for hanging out with you? Yeah, I'm kind of a- Interesting detail. I'm kind of a loser. <laughs> it's called a magnet school. It's about an hour away in a town called Burton. I know the change can be scary, but I just want you to go in and meet the dean I spoke with. He says you've had so much trouble. Oh. So what do you think, Benjamin? You think you could excel in that sort of an environment? Sorry, he gets very shy. Oh, not to worry. If he's as gifted as you say he is, shyness is no problem. Why don't you two come back closer to the end of the year for an audition? We'll get a few pieces that you can have him start learning. I'm eager to hear what your son is capable of. So, I understand you were a musician yourself. No, we don't need to hear that. Oh man, she is really like... What do they call that? Like, helicopter parent? I don't know. She is really living through her child and pushing. some very fast runs in there. And a lot of stuff I've not taught you properly yet. So no pressure. I just want you to try. And we can see if you start enjoying it. Just like to see you really rise to the occasion, just this once. I wish I had the option of going to a school like that when I was your age. Pressure. Living in this boring job or living in this boring town, I'll tell you that. What was that? Was that the piece? What is going on with you these days? I barely know whose kid you're supposed to be. Well, 
Oh my god, Benny! <laughs> thinking. You could have killed us. I mean, I doubt it. Oh man. Today is the first. Oh man. The pressure. Flip phones! <sighs> that Ben you can talk to your friend after you practice I have, like memories of shit like this oh my god is she really calling you again what is she obsessed with you What are you doing? I explicitly asked you not to pick up the phone. Oh, what do you know about anything that's going on? <sighs> my God, the pressure. In the presence of my aunt, who you remember is the goddess of truth and justice, would weigh the deceased soul against a feather, determining whether it was worthy of entering into her land of the dead. But it was a heavy feather. And what if they are deemed unworthy? Well, you can see that ugly fur ball under the scale? That is Amamet, and she's got... Hey, and yes, Mr. Kid. That's the head of Look a crocodile, oh. fur of a lion, see, and the body of a hippopotamus. Tonight after my dad goes to sleep, well, I'm going to sneak face. out my house yeah. and sleep on the beach. As you can see, if you want to get invited, to draw me a picture, Mr. Isaac, Any feeling constipated. Who do not pass judgment. Sort of like I love it. <laughs> Ew, why is he so scared well, of me? Sure okay, I'll call you when I'm leaving my house. Right you better pick up my call, dude. Yep. One oh. Change schools just as he's starting to make friends. Yeah, I'm pretty sure the only reason she keeps coming here is to play that game you bought for him. Okay, well listen, I don't claim to understand the motives of children. Richard, but I... Benny has a chance here, a real chance to be really good at something. I mean, this is no offense at all, but I don't think you actually really understand what that is. Why is she no. so pushy? I guess she just feels like she didn't accomplish it in her life and so needs to do it to her uh, son. That's rough, buddy. Alright. Lights out! You need to be rested for tomorrow. Memory consolidates when you're asleep. So if you go to sleep now, you will awaken a master. Trust me. Um Richard, tell your son to turn the lights off. Benny, mom says turn the lights off. Not mom says you say. Benny. Benny, I say turn the goddamn light off. Wow. Look. I didn't think you'd actually pick up. I mistook you for a baby. I apologize. Okay, so meet me out in the alley and T minus now, okay? Chloe, out. Huh. You know, I'm really glad you're here. Oh. There's something I've been meaning to talk to you about. Yeah? Or to get off my chest. Okay. I don't think Conquestors is actually a really good game. My cousin Yoon, he was in town this weekend, and he was explaining how it's actually a ripoff of a really good Japanese game. He calls it a cash grab. So I'm sorry that I made you like it because it's actually a terrible game. <laughs> but I also think that if it was a really good game, maybe we wouldn't have enjoyed playing it as much. We would have been so focused on how good it was and not the feelings we had while we were playing it. I want. Like, my favorite vegetable is a tomato, but Yoon thinks that they're the grossest ever. And 
you're probably the least popular boy in the school, but I also like hanging out with you the most, which was also something I wanted to talk to you about. I like hanging out with you a lot, which is weird because after what happened with your mom, I never like hanging out with anyone. No. So this has been a big surprise for me this year. Sorry, dude. Probably didn't sleep at all. Out in the cold all night. You're already feeling sick, aren't you? It's okay. You still got this. I mean, all the practice had to count for something. Maybe just try and close your eyes now and get a little... Oops. I meant to listen to her a little longer. In your own time, Benjamin, we are very excited to hear. Is there a pia piano somewhere? Oh. Ugh, fucking Bach. Man, this is like exactly like those goddamn books I used to have to play for my hand. Man, I couldn't play like this, though. I stopped very young. I hated playing. Oh, okay, okay. I think that's enough. So, Benjamin, uh, why don't we plan on having you come back next year again, once you've had a bit more time to practice? That was really impressive for just a, like... As you like... know, Burton isn't the right fit for every student, and I wish you the best of luck on your path, wherever it may take you. Okay? Fuck you, dude! <laughs> Maybe I pushed you too hard. Maybe I turned into my own father. Yes. I don't know. Yes. You have to find something to focus on. Why? The world isn't very kind to people who aren't really good at something. Well. You're not wrong, but... We want him home from school for a while. Just until this nasty thing clears. I got a cough. Hey, Elle, would you mind taking a quick walk with me down to my office? There's a small clerical thing I need you to look at before I can let you two go. Oh, yes, of course. I'll be right back, Benny, okay? Okay. Just maybe five minutes, kiddo. Okay? Oh, shit, there was a thing over there. I saw it just as I blinked. Development. He shouldn't be confined to his room. Yeah, just having him home for a while means I can spend more time with him. You know? We I thought you were a professor. Don't you work? What's wrong with me? Why am I outside suddenly? This isn't video game time. Oh. I want you to figure out something actually productive to do while you're home from school. Video game. But I'm sick. <laughs> I thought I gave this away. Well, I seem to like art. And for my age. How- How is- so good at everything. B, you hear me? What's he doing? He's drawing. He's becoming completely obsessed. Why isn't the sun eating with us now? No. You mean young Vincent? <laughs> well, ever since he got sick, he finally goes to the boat. <gasps> A tablet! Mr. Benjamin Brin has been awarded first place. Ha ha ha! Uh... Okay. You are not here to learn to be painters. You are here to learn to be artists. 
And although I was hired to teach you, it is a sham. There is no teaching art. So don't just sit there slack, Jod! Make art! Jesus Fuck. Christ! Oh. Calm thy tits, good sir! I wish I could have done a uh, art school. Oh, how very wacky and fun these are. I like the the weird very zany. Yes. Very hey. Lucky for you. The world is always in need of more greeting card artists. Thanks! So you're saying I have a job. Oh, fucking abstract. There you go, Mr. Brin. Feel each shape. I did abstract briefly in school. I didn't like it. In college. To take a long look. The teacher didn't like it. <laughs> Mr. Brin has done here. Teacher didn't like it. What did I do? You see, he has reached down deep within himself and created a masterpiece. I mean, sure. I pray you have a stronghold on yourself, Mr. Abstract Brin. art's a lot fucking harder than, you know, it seems. of this piece is so sincerely ironic. Oh, shut the fuck up. I hate people like that. I know that lots of agents gave you lots of cards. <gasps> Pretty! Alienating and the opposite of what being a starving artist is supposed to feel like. But if I can teach you one thing, it's that if opportunity knocks, open the door. Making a living isn't selling out. I wish I had thought of it that way. I actually really like that. I wish I could, like, be more creative. Like, I don't know how. I never had, like, proper stuff. Ugh. <laughs> Pass. Don't worry. You're not selling your soul. Oh. Pop art. Um. What am I- what am I signing? What do I want to do? Let's see. I probably need this one. Feeling about you. We're going to make a lot of money together. I have a feeling she's gonna push me. To actually making some money with one's art. Lord knows I could never do it. Where's where's Papa? Where's Papa? Ooh, that's good. Glug, glug, glug. So, now that you've made it, tell me, what are you going to do with it? <gasps> Besides finding fancy dinners like this every week, obviously. Obviously. Really? Is this Grease? From back when I was a bebe? Hey, honey. Your work's incredible. The new stuff oh. is wowing us all. Um, but Ben, I've had an idea. You know, the critics are fickle. How about you go back to your and Need something meaningful. All right. Hey, Ben. Don't even pick up this call, okay? I mean it. I'm just calling to inform you that I went to the doctor today, and well, I'm I'm gonna be a little sick for a while, but really, I. Oh, Benny, I told you not to pick up. There's nothing you can do 
for me right now. So all you can do is just keep painting, keep striving. You make that work of true genius. I can just tell you're almost there. Oh, it's certainly not this. So. Oh. But that's enough from me. Now you'll hear from the person who oh, I man. is the single thing in the world my wife is most proud of. Papa! Magnum opus, so to speak. Mm. Go on, B. Say something. That goddamn metronome. Why aren't you talking? Ugh. Hey, honey. Guess who's calling? Again. Look. You know, I talk to... Hey. Benny. Guess who's calling? I'm not saying much. I'm gotten I got the feels. Just calling to tell you. I think I'm selling the house. She's everywhere, your son. I can't move without bumping into her. And then I just find myself breaking down again. Whatever you want. With your mother gone, I'm hoping to finally live without all the clutter. <laughs> ah, I'm just so glad you got to speak to her one last time. I mean, I know she told you not to pick up the phone, <laughs> but well, I'm just so happy that you did. She just wanted you to focus on you. That was the only thing that mattered to her. What's that? It's so fascinating, son. <clears throat> Sorry. This this game is making me very emotional. Sorry. I'm sorry I'm trying to compose myself. <laughs> it's um very uh very reminiscent of shit that like I sorta of went through having like my mom who was very like pushy towards like playing the piano. A <laughs> goddamn fucking metronome. Um and then I never pursued it and I went into art. <laughs> And then my mom died this year, and when I went back, like, everything in the house was just memories of her, and it was so hard. And I did keep the metronome. I don't know. And I actually am not even done dealing with it. I have to go back and deal with her house still, but... God... All right, all right, all right. I, uh... <laughs> the good news now is my eyes are well fucking lubricated. The good news now. Look. It's unbelievable, Benny. It's like she's standing in the room with us. It's like I can 
see her. Stop! I just stopped crying! Feel her. <sighs> she is con now considered one of the- Can't really you. It It's Chloe! Your neighbor! My God, I, I thought she had- <laughs> I thought she had stubble. I just walked through the entire show. It's unbelievable. I'd love to walk through it again with you. I mean, if you were down for that. I just can't believe that my entire childhood, I was living next to a bona fide genius. I should have guessed it. I mean, with all those little drawings. And your mom. Mm. I always heard her playing piano from next door. But I didn't know she wrote the actual music. Hey, so no oh, man, look at that little thing. Forward, but uh, what are you doing after this? There's no way. I'd really love to catch up. I, I can't believe everything that's happened to you. I want to hear all about it. Oh yeah, the fucking dog. Now, would you look at that? <laughs> ah! <laughs> you finally hit the jackpot, Slapjack. Oh, the nobody nothing's dying every day. You finally sink your hook in. Whoa! Well, there you are. Well, hello, sir. If I realize mm. I'm cleaned up, I'm just used to fishing up a different class of soul. Oh. <laughs> I mean, sure, I'm special. A scientists, a couple college athletes here or there, but. Ooh. Internationally renowned painter. I kind of don't like the fact that it's a renowned painter. Keeper's gonna eat you up. Hey, speaking of that, why don't we give your story a test run? Maybe you can help me out with the word choice, since you know I'm still working on that. See if I'm getting all the strokes right. Huh. The proper composition. If you catch my drift. <laughs> yeah, forget about it. All right. Here we go. Gatekeeper! Before you stands the soul of a great man. Mm -mm. Now, would you describe yourself as a happy kid or a lonely one? Mm, probably pretty lonely. A, a jovial child or a solitary one. I say solitary. His childhood was a lonely one. Growing up as a strange, quiet child in an isolated seaside town. And, uh, what would you say your mom was? A composer or an accountant? His mother was a composer. I mean, he seemed happy when he was a baba. Her family took a job as an accountant. Did she? How would you describe her as a teacher? More encouraging or demanding? Uh, fucking demanding as like shit. <laughs> as his piano teacher, she was over demanding. Forcing him to practice day in, oh uh, yeah, hoping that he might one I'm day not... achieve that greatness <laughs> that she never could. Uh, uh, How about that neighbor girl? What was she to you? Was she your best friend or your first love? I mean, here. but on the eve of his big audition. He completely <laughs> dropped the ball, staying up all night with his best friend. But that was probably better for him, right? I wonder if I slept now, and I didn't blow it. Forward, <sighs> if there had been a different story. She knew he didn't have what it took. Whoa! To <laughs> Harsh. But little did she know, she just picked the wrong medium, right? No. No. See, when he was 12 years old, he got sick, and he had to stay inside for an entire year. Oh man, can, I can't even imagine. Year, he rediscovered a talent he'd forgotten. 
My mom would have forced me to play piano. Sure, he loved finger painting as a child. Color and shape were the first languages he learned to speak. But for the first time, he saw it in a more serious light. He was accepted into an exclusive art school where he caught the eye of an esteemed professor who launched his work into the national spotlight. But be quiet, all of you. With expectations on his career mounting, he stalled himself into bankruptcy, which turned out to be a blessing, for it wasn't until he returned home to the house he grew up in that he began work on what would ultimately be considered his masterpiece. I said, shut up, you, you scum dolls, you mucky fowls. He's having a tantrum. Yeah, he here. As much anyway. I should probably tell you, those things, they're not regular gulls. They're liar birds. They're what becomes of souls who try to lie to the gatekeeper. Uh-huh. Once they try that, they're never allowed near her city again. And then you eat them? Creep. I'm feeling bad for not defending them right, so they just stay on with me. Living reminders of my oratory shortcomings. Oh, yeah, good thinking. I'll be back to get you once I'm done with this one. Okay. Hopefully, you won't be seeing him again. Hopefully. What? What, what am I waiting for? Sap. You know that? Me? Just look at him. Poor fool doesn't know what he's in for. Who? I hear that goddamn metronome. Goddamn. Now don't think that I haven't dealt with people like you. You're ashamed of something. Something so terrible, you're trying to blink right past it. Because if the gatekeeper knew, she'd have to dream up fresh new hells to punish someone as worthless as you. And I'm sure you're right. I'm sure you're the rottenest soul that I ever fished out of that black... Where the fuck is this coming from? I should have thrown you back and sanitized my paw as soon as I laid eyes on you. Was like, I just fucking did a flip flop. We're in this together, and the gatekeeper, she'll see right through your fake lies as if they were glass. So I'm gonna ask you again to start from the very beginning, and this time, I want the truth. What truth? Mama! Not this. <gasps> Kitty! I taught you. Remember? Maybe it was the fact that he was a genius? Come on, keep blinking. I, I, I haven't found it yet. Doesn't that make you feel happy? Like you just want... You know, my father once told me, when I was about your age, the only way to fight against time this. Stay here. What did your mother hear on that phone call? Got a stare. Ah. Keep your eyes open. I need to see. But my eyes burn. Damn it! 
All right, all right. Let's try this again. All right, rub the eyes. Okay. Oh my god, my eyes. I'm getting it. I think the other part is the, uh... Hello? I think it was the cat getting mauled. Yes, of course. This is Elle, his daughter. <laughs> Her dad died? Oh. Oh, what see. is it? She knew she hadn't yet lived up to her father's expectations. But that's her story, not my now, story. She never could. Ah, uh, it would explain why she's Let's pushing so hard. You really need to stay in time with the metronome, okay? You were a prodigal talent. I get it. What did you just say? This isn't a trip down memory lane. I need you to stay focused. Yes, I understand about the cat. Let's keep going. This one. I tried to stay up. Uh, uh, my eyes open for this one. Because it sounds like an animal. And then we never saw the cat again. Oh, I feel blink coming on. It's so hard. Ah! Almost. Almost. Oh my god. Keep no! Open. I couldn't. I'm trying. One more time. All right, I'm trying. Uh, okay. Oh man, that is really hard to do. No, fucking coyotes. Those cats must have taught you a terrifying lesson that simply being alive wasn't enough. Bro, to, work, to make yourself sensational. Listen to him, Richard. I'm enlisting him in that competition. I thought you said competitions took the joy out of playing music. I like hanging out with you a lot, which is weird because after what happened with my mom, I never liked you. Hmm. Benny, I'm worried about who you're going to become. Hey, L, would you mind taking a quick walk with me down to my office? Is Come on, keep blinking. I'm blinking. All right, here we go. What is this? Nah, oh, god damn it. I swear to god, if you blink again. What what are you gonna do? I have human eyes and they get dry. Can you please try to speak a little softer? I really don't want to hear us talking about this. Oh my god, that's really fucking like harsh on the eyes. What are they saying? I mean, what's the point? What do you mean? What's the point? If I keep my eyes closed, I can hear it. What does that mean? What's the point of any of it? If he's never going to get any better. Okay. What's wrong with me? Let's not say that. Okay? We know we don't mean it. I know I don't. I know. I mean, what if he heard one of us <sighs> saying something like that? I'd never forgive myself. I. It's okay. You just sleep. It's okay. I see. You got sick. 
Yes. You howled at the moon. Ow. Oh. The top of your lungs. Ow. Oh. Ow. Oh. So, what, what was I sick with? Man, you're kind of a weird one. I'm just gonna say that right now. Ow! Sick for a long time, weren't you? Sicker a than year? Healthy kids are supposed to get. Well, no matter how painful it gets, I need you to remember. We're almost at the end of this. This isn't video game time. Hmm. I want you to figure out something actually productive to do while you're home from school. Um. <laughs> Try writing with it. Hi, Mom. Well, hello, Benny. <laughs> it was your grandfather's, but I used it in college. Can I not year. speak? Exactly. It was very artsy. Actually, I was just good at fooling your dad. Made him think I was some kind of genius. Because we never do hear me speak. Why don't you write the story of your life so far? And then what you're going to do once you get better. That's a story I want to hear. Hmm. His childhood was a lonely one. Growing up a strange and quiet child in an isolated seaside town. Well, that sounds familiar. His mother was a composer who, with the need to support for her family took a job as an accountant man this is wild <sighs> is it you really got into this didn't you my soup is gone oh here i am but on the eve of his big audition he completely dropped the ball Staying up all night with his best friend and blowing it the next day. Hey. <laughs> best friend? Okay, Benny. And you know, we really could have just slept on the beach another night. But I'm also glad we didn't because, well, another... Eh. Mm. You are going to be in there for about 30 minutes. So try to get comfortable. That's a long time. Oh, is that normally how long they are? Every time I've had to get one of these, it was always been just like a couple, great, couple minutes. A little longer, okay? Knock knock. What's up? You're gonna be so annoyed with me, but I couldn't help but overhear Chloe reading aloud from what I think was your story <laughs> the other night. I know, I know. I promised myself I wouldn't eavesdrop, but I would really love to read it if you'd let me. What do you say? You know I'm such a big fan of anything you do. Mm. Can't. Go in there and tell him you loved it. I'm sorry, I just can't. I just not right now. Okay, don't worry. Just what? I'll talk to you. What? Maybe. Just want you to know that Mom loved your story. She's just, you know, I think it was just very emotional for her to read. I thought it was great. I mean, look at this. His childhood was a lonely one. Growing up a strange and quiet child in an isolated seaside town. I mean, I'm certainly bummed you feel that way. But what I want to know is, where did you learn to write so well? All those cool words. <laughs> Benjamin Braun was a loser. Man, I still want to know why he was sick. 
He was the worst Ryan to ever live. Did I become suicidal? Also, what happened to his friend? He didn't even try to fight the disease inside him. Oh. He just laid down and died. Depression! Meow, 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 meow. I think he's unconscious. Call the paramedics now. Jeez. What did I have, like a tumor or something? Like, what is this? He's ever in pain, all he needs to do is press that red button and the drug will administer itself. Thank you so much. You know, okay. I know my wife would normally want to thank you herself. No, I understand it hits mothers the hardest, this sort of thing. Thank you for understanding. It's been uh, it's been a rough one. What is the disease he has? I guess this is his entire year. Oh man, all those drugs. Hey, Eddie. Yeah, hey man, it's Richard. Hmm. Listen, I know Elle's been missing in action, but I just want you to understand things have taken a really bad turn here yeah no that's not going to be possible to be honest your whole tone is pissing me off right now yes I understand you have a business to run it's a very <laughs> cliche thing to say to me in a time like this okay well well, then I guess all I can say is screw you too. Wait, who's he talking to? I said screw you too. Oh, yeah, fuck, fuck thyself. That's all I got. Hey, this isn't funny, you know. What, you're too scared to talk to me? Well, just so you know, I know you're faking. Because if you were really sick, like actually sick, you'd have told me already. I happen to actually know about this stuff. So the fact that you are faking, just so you don't have to go... Hmm. I remember when you were just four years old. Your mom was going through a pretty tough time. Man, we had like a jump between dad yeah, before and after. Yeah, rejected. And she's having trouble adjusting to her quiet little life out here, and I feared that yeah, I was losing her. But then you played this on the piano, and just her little hands reaching up for the keys. She just couldn't believe how gifted you were. And once she heard that, well. It was like you brought her right back to me. So, I was wondering if maybe you could do that trick again. Hmm? Try closing your eyes. See if you can remember. All right, what are we remembering? The song? Is that, that's my bass. How did you figure out how to play that? Oh. Plan B. She's listening. Sorry, I blinked. 
get oil soon. Oh, now I need, like, a breathing thing. <gasps> my cat! Oh, my poor baby. You lost your babies. Come to me, kitty. What are you doing, Elle? I'm just gonna make you sick. Oh, it's okay. I'm just so happy she's here. We've got to show this cat some real love. She's been through more than we can even imagine. What do you mean she hasn't been over? Like, she didn't even care to visit? No, I mean... Huh, I guess the friend... A lot's going on right now. I don't know her so I'm not... You know how Benny is. She lost you her know. mother a year ago. You knew that, right? No, what does that have to do with... Okay, do we have her dad's number? I don't know. Check the book. Okay, I mean, I'm they're your neighbors. Now. Just fucking walk over. Jesus! Oh, maybe it's oh my working? God, you're an idiot. You do realize this is really nothing special to me. I've seen this all before. I, um... I was thinking about what you said in the story the other day. And I'm trying to definitely impress you with my, like, sickness. I kind of bad. I shouldn't have done that. But... Hey! What are you looking at? Don't look up there. Look at me. I'm talking to you. Yeah, I'm listening. I want to give you something. But I think I don't want to be in the room when you see what it is. So maybe if you close your eyes, I can give it to you and I'm going to leave. Okay. Close your eyes now, okay? All right. You are my best friend. She wants something else? Like... Oh man, everything's like harder to move. Man, being sick like that must suck. What is that? It's something new I'm working on. So you're writing again. Ah, it's just a melody that came to me. It feels good to play it. It's sad. Yeah, well, that would make sense. But do you like it? I mean, yeah. I love everything you do. Mm, you you're like so supportive. Ah, uh, not this old trap. <laughs> <laughs> I'm waiting. Well, it made me feel like... 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 Like if the unspeakable darkness I'm carrying can be so well expressed, maybe it's not so unspeakable. Nailed it, didn't I? Yeah. <laughs> Nailed well, it. That was pretty good. Be brave. I guess the painkillers really aren't helping. Oh, man. January. I wasn't even paying attention to the calendar. Jesus Christ! I can't get to him in time. Ugh. There's no need to show me anymore. It's the white light. No. 
Did I die as a child? You know, for a while now, I've wondered if I'm just not a good enough storyteller. Jesus Christ! If I just don't have grand enough words, can't tell grand enough stories. But grand words and stories, I think they may be overrated. Ugh. I know just what to tell her. Watch for her now. I've seen the gatekeeper take many forms depending on the soul I bring her. Okay. But once you see her, you'll know. Believe me. A little I should be ready. Oh. Don't worry. We got this. I think. Did I not live a long life? Like I just why did I die? Or did I die as a kid? And that was just what I assumed my future was. And that's just what I wanted my future to be. Hmm. Am I looking for something? Are these like the, um... Is it the yucca plants? Aloe plants? I forgot what they were. God, lag. Oh. It's my cat! There she is. Wish me luck. Gatekeeper! Before you sits the soul of a child. Oh who no! He didn't die as a child. She's ready to hear your story. Wait, so he ha he like fantasized his mom dying of cancer or something? Oh, died. You know, I never told you how much I loved your story. It's really so imaginative, and the person you wrote about. Why did he fantasize that? Interesting and intense guy. My only issue was, well, I didn't like him very much. Hmm. So. I wanted to read you something I wrote for you, which is about the Benny I've known for 11 years now. He's only 11? It's called The Great Life of Benjamin Oh, Brin. man. Benjamin Brin was born into an ordinary home to an ordinary mother and father in a small town by the sea. His mother was a composer, or at least that's what she dreamed she'd be. So, when her own dreams didn't pan out, she began to dream for him. But then, when he was just 11 years old, he got sick and was forced to stay inside for an entire year. And in that year, he began to worry that he hadn't lived enough. He made up a story of the great life he thought he wanted to live. <laughs> Which only made him forget the great life he had. How he had filled a new home with light and joy, joy and promise. <laughs> How he met girl, his neighbor, who felt all alone in the world and made her feel okay again. And how, even when he was sick, he still gave his parents hope. How he reminded them exactly who they were. After the they had almost forgotten. So when he knew he was going to go, he was hey, because he'd already lived a great he lived a great life, a full life, and he was everything he needed to be, just as he was. <sighs> she accepts. <laughs> Close your eyes now. Keep them closed. <laughs> ah! Go on. You know what to do. Why is he smiling like that? He must be somewhere that he likes.
<laughs> oh my god. <laughs> I'm an emotional bitch right now. All right, that's it. All right, um, so I guess there was nothing after the credits, but, uh, enable on screen. No, nah, I think I'm good on that. <laughs> um, yeah, this was definitely an in your feels sort of game. Very short, like an hour and a half. It's not bad. Uh, with a few minutes of me crying like a little baby. <laughs> um, but I hoped you enjoyed it. Uh, I don't know how much editing I'm going to do to this video. I didn't talk a lot because it was more story driven and I wanted to be able to hear what they were saying. But um, yeah, I want to thank you guys for hanging out with me and um, yeah, it's just like a little return back to gaming on this channel along with I couldn't really stream this because, you know, as a VTuber it's hard to calibrate a webcam showing yourself. <laughs> Anyways, um, yeah, I'll see you guys later. Uh, oh, if you- oh, I forgot. This isn't Twitch. It's, um, YouTube. So, like, comment, and subscribe. <laughs> Alright, bye, you guys.